Hi, everybody. Happy Saturday. Happy New Year. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 13-box Gunslinger football mixer featuring the Gunslinger himself, Brett Favre. We're giving away a one-of-one -one flawless NFL Shield booklet auto. Ooh, so at the end of the break, we'll give that bat. In fact, it's right in front of me right here. Here it is. We'll give this away at the end of the break. So we'll randomize everybody's names in a different dice roll at the end, along with any other randomizers that, that, that there may be. All right, and the name on top, we'll get this. I have no idea what, what, what could this go for. I have no idea, but it could go for a lot. Here are the boxes, the 13. The break itself is not too shabby as well. So we've got a lot of fun stuff that we can chase in these boxes here. I did the count. There's 13 boxes on my screen. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. Congrats once again to the winners of spots and those Prism uh, Hobby Pack breaks. And all 32 teams, of course, are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a three, nine times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Mitchell, what's going on? How are you? Happy Saturday. Jonathan, down to Richard after nine times. A wild card weekend here. Rams are up 20 to 10. They got the ball back with about a minute 15 left in the uh, first half. There's Jonathan down to Richard. Six and a three, nine times for the teams. One, two, three. And ninth and final time after nine, we got the Bengals down to the Niners. Cincinnati down to San Francisco. Remember, trades are allowed. We will pause the video just for a wee bit for uh, for trades, but trade at your own risk. All right, Jonathan with the Bengals. Nice. Nick with the Broncos. Richard with the Eagles and the Chiefs. James with the Saints. Dayton with the Buccaneers. Matthew Shearer with the Falcons. Reed with the Pats. Matt with the Colts. Mitchell, there you go. You got the Dolphins in this one. And I'm doing well. You just made it in time. Joseph with the Jags. Chris with the Browns. Kim with the Lions. Uh, Townsend with the Washington football team. We'll see them in action later tonight. John with the Titans. Greg with the Texans. Uh, David with the Panthers. Daniel with the Seahawks. Kevin with the Steelers. Travis with the Bills. Kim with the Rams. Steven with my Raiders. Josh. Uh, Josh T with the Chargers. Gail, you got the Ravens. Adam with the Giants. Laura with the Cardinals. Patrick Sullivan with the Boys. Chris with the Vikes. Oliver with the Packers. James with the Bears. Victor with the Jets. And Richard with the San Francisco 49ers. We'll put all this on one screen and alphabetize by team right here. Now remember, I'm going to show you the list of boxes again. Just keep in mind the different years that are involved in this break before you trade. We're going to hit the pause button, and when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then on the break, stick around. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a lot of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done to the list remains the same. Here it is, hot off the presses. Thanks for spending your uh, Saturday with us, ladies and gentlemen. Part of your wild card weekend, NFL wild card weekend. Should be a lot of fun. Thanks, everybody. Let's, let's, we're going to go with the base heavy stuff first, and then we'll work our way towards the back here. Let's get this uh, 2020 Donruss football going right here. I'm assuming no vet common ship in the break of this magnitude. Correct. No vet common ship. But I think all Brady's and non rookie Brady and non rookie Mahomes' will still ship. There's a standing order for that. Oh, hi, Henry Parks. Oh, is he gone? Oh, hi, Henry Parks. Come on, I don't have time for this. All right, there we go. We 
We've got the Rams-Seahawks game going on right now. 30 seconds, 32 seconds left in the half. Rams up 20 to 10. They have the ball. It's fourth and two. The early game was exciting on Saturday the 9th, 2021, January. This could be a pretty, pretty fun one, too. We still have another half to go. I don't remember what the 2019 products in this are, but if you look at the description the, on the website, Christian, it'll, it'll be up there. All the, we list all the boxes in the mixer. But at a glance, I don't know if we have any 2019 product, actually. Now that I look at it, maybe that limited football? No, that's 2018. I, don't know, I guess we'll, we'll find out in a few moments. Travis did not expect the Rams to be winning by right now, honestly. I did not either. I did take the Rams plus four and a half, but I thought that was, uh, I thought they were going to take care of that. I thought that it was going to be more of a backdoor cover situation. You know, like they, they would cover towards the end of the game. which I guess could still happen. All right, halftime. Welcome to the to the Jaspies halftime show. Just started box one of our 13 box gunslinger football mixer if you're just joining us from uh, the Fox game. Tall stack right here. All right, good luck, everybody. Sorry, just throwing these cards around. These are all just vet commons anyway. All right. There's a blue Tom Brady right here for the Bucks, Dayton Rodgers. There you go. Thank you, Travis, for going to the description, checking that out. There you go. Christian, those are your 2019 boxes in the chat. Travis looked it up for you. And as soon as I turn these cards up, right side up, it's going to go back the other way. Obviously, these are blue parallel, so they will ship. There's Jerry Judy. There's Cam Akers, just having a pretty decent game. C.D. Lamb rated rookie. There's Tom Brady again. And this Aaron Rodgers is considered an insert, so that would ship to, that does ship to the Green Bay Packers. Derrick Henry right there. We'll see him in action tomorrow morning. Here's Jonathan Taylor, who had a pretty nice game. He's, he's one to watch for next year. Colts, that'll be for Matt Lieber.
Devontae Parker, Trayvon Diggs. A few more rookie cards that will all ship. Is Aaron Donald? Now can Aaron Donald kind of hold hold down the Seattle Seahawks in this one. Oh, wow. John Wolford actually went to the hospital. You guys see this? That must have been a really bad neck injury. They they put him in an ambulance. He's on. He's off to the hospital. Ouch. There's our first Joe Burrow, rated rookie, blue border, press proof, nice. Parallel for Jonathan Lobre and the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, that is scary. Aaron Donald He's looking looking pretty awesome and there's Mahomes he's I'm sure he's at home watching all the all the action maybe he's watching Jaspies hi Patrick Patrick Mahomes might be watching Jaspies instead it's like I like the Jaspies coverage on a wild card weekend. Clyde Edwards Elaire. Maybe Clyde's watching us too. Another set of blue parallels, and I think we're done with this first box. We'll get into that prestige after this, too. Get those heavy base cards out of the way first. All right, prestige coming up. Nice, Brent. Your Jaspies pulled. I like when we pull it for you. Pulled Bowman Superfractor. A Peretta showed up today. Nice. Superfractor's always cool. Prestige coming up. Congrats again, Brent. Now let's hope he turns into like a perennial all-star. That's the next step, right? Pull the super fracture. Check. Does he become a Hall of Famer? That's the next step. So these are uh, prestige retail packs, fat packs or value packs, or however you want to call them. Again, the expectations for like autographs and stuff like that. Not too big, but it's really the rookies and the parallels that we're chasing here. So more, more stuff for 2020. <laughs> yeah. If Josh Allen... Actually, what are Josh Allen rookie autos? you know, rookie prices. Have they been going up with each uh, with each game recently? Of course, Nick Caruso. All rookies do ship. Only, as it says in the item description pretty clearly, no veteran common ship. That's it. If we didn't ship rookies, I feel like people would riot. 
I don't know of any other, I don't know of any group breaker that doesn't ship rookies. That would be a group breaker that I would uh, I would not support. <laughs> How crazy would that be? No rookie ship. No, no, no business for you. Is Allen's stuff are just ridiculous? Greg saying his value. I guess with each playoff win, yeah, maybe maybe we will have to start shipping all Josh Allens. Add that to the list. All right. So this is 2020 Prestige Value Packs. Wait, what are the so the, these are obviously inserts these will ship these are those cards shorter printed I forget what the what's the exclusive here I guess this these are the the extra points green parallels are the stuff that's exclusive to these packs right. which would be what do they look like I feel like it'll be pretty obvious when we see it. Oh, there it is. So these green, you can see the green foil right here. I mean, obviously these are rookies, so they'll ship, but even the non-rookies will ship as well. It's Jalen Hurts for the Eagles. Richard Burbank got randomized. The fly, Eagles fly. This will go to Oliver in Green Bay. There's Josh Allen right here. I may as well just start setting his stuff aside, right? Chase Claypool Green. You know, he could have a big day tomorrow. This will go to Pittsburgh. That'll be for Kevin Hull. And all of those things I sleeve will be top-loaded before they get sorted out, of course. Just in the interest of time, I'm only just sleeving them. There's the Brady for the Bucks, And I guess we might have to start doing this now. We'll do a, a couple of these. Travis, there you go. Buffalo Bills. I mean, I feel like the, I feel like the collecting market. I feel like there's a lot of people who collect in. Um, collect in the uh, in upstate New York, right? I feel like a lot of people in that Buffalo area, in that upstate New York area, there are a lot of collectors that are out there. So, if Josh Allen delivers a Super Bowl victory to the city of Buffalo. That would be hashtag good for the hobby, for sure. I mean, that, that, that would be huge. So even like, where, when was Josh Allen a rookie? 2017? So I guess even 2020 Josh Allen cards could go for, go for a lot more than maybe some other 20, you know? More than some of the other guys from the same draft class. Twenty eighteen. There's Chase Young rookie card. We'll see him in action tonight. And there's our first two a Tungo Vailoa. That'll be for Miami Mitchell Emerson. Wow, Greg says when he wins the Super Bowl, his cards will be worth more than Mahomes. That would be interesting. If he win, what, sorry, check that. Greg says when he wins the Super Bowl. My my assumption is if that the Bills win the Super Bowl, that 
that he's probably going to be um, Super Bowl MVP, you would think. I guess it would be him or Stefan Diggs, I guess, would I would assume be the storyline. All right, and we got a Justin Herbert. Chargers. That's going to go to Josh T. Picked up the uh, char or picked up a mixer spot straight up. Got randomized the bolts. So far, so good. And a good return for the Seahawks. Game's back on, folks. I knew that Ken Anderson was different. I missed the numbering on that. Ken Anderson for the Bengals, that is 97 out of 99. Robert Myhill saying, Allen's 2020 Prism Snakeskin went for 1,050 on eBay last night. Wow. I guess with, with, every, with every win, Hashtag good for the hobby. And I'll bet at the, probably at the beginning of the NF, this NFL season, I'll bet you could have even kind of bought low on Josh Allen. You might have been able to buy low on Josh Allen. I mean, I'm not, not saying that he was cheap, but to, to, to pick up, but relatively speaking, I think you could have, you could have probably bought low at the beginning of the season. I mean, here's a Gabriel Davis rookie. He could make a name for himself in the playoffs, right? I feel like every week they're using him a little bit more and more. But they still have to go through this guy. Chiefs will get all those Mahomeses, even the ones I've missed, Richard Burbank. That's what I love about any sports like playoff season, like the rookie cards that you have. Just a couple good performances here and there. Could be a nice boost in value. It's almost like a, you're almost playing like fantasy sports in a way. Be rooting for all these guys. Pittman had a good game in a losing effort. Antonio Gibson, could he could he be part of the the, the narrative tonight? So yeah, how exciting is that? So it's fun. You know, we'll see we'll see him next year though. Wow, held him to a fifty two yard field goal attempt. Hey man, quick question. Sorry. It's up. Hang on. Good. It's good. Yeah, what's is this? That? Prism draft picks. What is that? A um, cello box? I don't think that's a cello box. We have box. a cello box? The cello that? boxes would be the, the, the fat, these fat white boxes. Okay, gotcha. I, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Look for those. All right, let's roll with, let's go back in time to 2013, you guys. When, it's when E.J. Manuel was on the front of the box. Anyone nervous about this little loose staff right here on the top camera? I'll stack these cards over here just in case. A minor earthquake could knock that over. Stay tuned, folks. See what happens next. 
Um, who are we looking for? Anyone remember their 2013 draft class? Who are we looking for? Some, or maybe someone could look it up while I'm opening up these packs. Give us an idea of what we're looking for. James saying Hopkins in this draft class. Eric Jennings saying uh, Kelsey might be a rookie in this draft class. Le'Veon Bell. I know those guys. Those are good names. Geno Smith. There you go. Adam Kaufman pointing out Geno Smith in this draft class. Maybe some Keenan Allen, Eric Jennings is saying. Uh, the cards will go to whatever their their team is pictured. That's on, on the card for that particular year. So Le'Veon Bell would obviously go to the Steelers. It'd be kind of a nightmare if we had to imagine if we had to change it, like sort everything out to their current team. It would take an additional week, I think, to ship out stuff from here. What about Connor, Connor Vernon? Remember him? Mike Glennon was a rookie? Those are the days. Desmond Trufant was a rookie? There's Keenan Allen, although I think these are just promo cards and not an actual copper card. Is that a fumble? No, he was down. We got Quentin Patton, rookie auto for the Niners, Richard Burbank. I think he was, knee is tanned, arm, elbow down. That's a good, that's a good return. See a big rookie name here. There's Le'Veon Bell, right? There's it's an insert, but that's rookie impact. Le'Veon Bell for the Steelers, Kevin Hall. Jarvis Jones. Xavier Rhodes. There was Geno Smith. Remember Trent Richardson? How amazing he was supposed to be. Sanchez. And we got a die cut. Colin Kaepernick. Orange die cut for the Niners. Richard Burbank. That is 49 for the 49ers out of 50. And that's right. Eddie Lacy was a rookie in this class, too. There's Quentin Patton again. There's Matt Barkley. And we got Tavares King, rookie autograph for Denver. That will be for Nick Caruso. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Gets a little something. Johnson, DJ Fluker, where's that? Chiefs Alex Smith, and Juwan Jameson. All right, so nothing too crazy there. It's all good. All right, let's just slide this right off the top right here. Here's 2020 XR football. So we're getting pretty close to the end now, folks. 
So all the rest of these boxes should be pretty, uh, pretty quick. So we're back in 2020. There's David Johnson, Frank Clark to 249, Cole Komet to 99, and Sony Michelle to 49. Sony Michelle obviously goes to James. Check that read. And the Pats, Komet going to James and the Bears. Frank Clark for the Chiefs. That'll be for Richard. And behind Chase Claypool is 9 out of 49, Tua Tungavailoa. Nice piece of his jersey here. Rookie jersey going to Mitchell and the Dolphins. Vortex. Got like a little wrinkly on the penny sleeve there, but there it is. And behind Chase Claypool is Tua Tungovailoa Luminous Endorsements Autograph. 33 out of 49. Mitchell Emerson won that spot. In one of our filler breaks, got randomized Miami, ends up with the auto. Nice, there's the 33 out of 49 down there. I kind of like this design. A little bit of a shadow box look, black and white photo, the autograph right on top. Nice. Chase Claypool, too, for Pittsburgh, Richard. There you go. There's Mitchell. He's fired up. Let's go, he says. There's uh, Julian Oguara for the Lions. That'll be for Kim. There's the Dwayne Haskins to 99 for Townsend. And the Antonio Gibson to 10 for Townsend. Where does Dwayne Haskins end up? He must. He has to get a chance somewhere else. Antonio Gibson might go off tonight. There's Dwayne Haskins right there. Where does he end up? I guess we'll find out in the off season. But it's got to be a team or got to be some teams out there that'll take a chance on him. And down here we've got Jersey and Auto C.D. Lamb, 30 out of 75 for Dallas. That's going to be for Patrick Sullivan. Pat on the board. James says XFL maybe for him. All right. We're staying in 2020. Here is a Mega Edition. Of uh, 2020 Panini Prism Football. Steven's thinking maybe Ohio State takes him back. So this is the Mega Box Edition. Remember we did a five box break of this earlier today. This is the, um, the one with the green pulsars. Travis thinking not a starter anywhere, but maybe somewhere as a backup. You can see that. There's Marlon Davidson, Green Pulsar. Oops, sorry, points. This will be randomized to someone in the break. So here's how we do the randomizer. Um, when, we, when I take the list of names, the name on top We'll get the Brett Favre, and then the second name will get any and all points. We'll group them together for spot two. If you're, we're kind of halfway through the break. Just remember, if you think you're having a bad break, don't worry. You still have a shot at this. Just to remind you.
We see J.K. Dobbins do put in work tomorrow morning. There's Drew Locke, green pulsar for Denver. And there's Antoine Winfield. All right, let's get this uh, 2018 optic going here. Would I take Favre or Rodgers as your Packers QB? <laughs> it's a, it's a pretty, James Reyes, that's a good question. I mean, both are going to be Hall of Famers. Both are, well, I mean, one's a Hall of Famer. Aaron Rodgers is going to be a Hall of Famer, right? Kind of a coin flip, I guess. Maybe you take the edge. Maybe maybe Favre still has the edge, just due to the kind of magic that he can produce at times. But I think it's pretty close. Like if you took like sort of an all-star team of Packers and put them all together, I think I would still give the edge to Brett Favre, just just maybe based on like X factors. There's Kurt Benkert and Mason Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Damian Ratley. It's Jared Goff, Mason Rudolph, Jamon Moore. Sam Darnold rated rookie. Victor Romero with the Jets. Do the Jets get a quarterback or you give this guy another shot? Kind of unfair to judge him based off of, you know, a Gase -led, Adam Gase-led team. I don't know. We'll see. They're probably taking a quarterback. There's Doris Fountain of Youth. Rookie Threads Relic for the Blue Horseshoes. Matt Lieber. Depends on the... Adam Kupperman's a Jets fan. Depends on the coach, he says. What an... I'd love to be in the front office for the Jets this offseason. Just to see what coach are you going to get. You know, what they're going to do with their pick. And we're... Jets are like at literally at a, a big, big crossroads. There's rated rookie Saquon Barkley. Nice. Giants. Adam Kupperman. There you go. Yeah, it's much more likely they take a QB. I agree too. But unless some coach blows away the Jets' ownership in front off and say, you know what? Sam Darnold's still our guy. Let me tell you why. It'll be interesting. There's Baker Mayfield. Nice. And DJ Chark as well. Nice Baker Mayfield rated rookie hollow going to Chris and the Cleveland Browns. This guy's value has been steadily increasing this season as well. And I'm sure if he pulls off the upset tomorrow, woo! Ooh, wow. Adam Coverman is saying if. if they're going to hire the enemy, then trade a boatload to the Texans for Deshaun Watson. Yeah, the, remember the Jets have, that's interesting, the Jets have accumulated a lot of assets through trade, so they might be one of the few teams. Um, here's plates and patches. This is 2019 plates and patches. Yeah, Jets might be one of the few teams that can actually have, might have the assets for a Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson in New York? And if they give him some weapons, he would be king. The, 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 price, the price of his cards with him in New York, with all the New York fans like Adam Coverman out there. There's Drew Brees, plate. I mean, Adam, how, how, many, how many Deshaun Watson rookies are you, are you buying if he becomes a Jet? All right, there's Drew Brees, printing plate, going to the Saints. That'll be for James Reyes. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. If you ever meet Drew, this is a, plates are really nice to have players sign. All right, let's use this blank card right here. There's Joe Montana. 
50 out of 99. Legends for the Niners, Richard. We got Josh Norman, 35 out of 35 for Washington. That'll be for Townsend. We got a dual relic for the Bears, David Montgomery and Riley Ridley, 33 out of 99. Nice. Double coverage, dual relic from plates and patches. The Bears, James Reyes. Ooh, Kupperman already has a Prism BGS 9.5 already for Deshaun Watson. Fecon, that's... I didn't even think about that idea. That's not a bad, uh, bad idea. And we got a 2 out of 5, Jared Goff. Leaps and bounds on card autograph. There's Goff right now. This goes to the Rams. That'll be for Kim and the Rams. And out of fives and under, of course, Kim gets the train whistle and Goff hands it off. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, now let's roll into some 2018 limited football. Eric, I forget who they got. I'm sure Adam, Adam Kupperman might remember. Did they get a first from Seattle for, for Adams? Jamal Adams? All right, good, a punt. That helps my under. Two first round picks. Wow, one in 2021 and one in 2022. Alex Smith tonight, folks. Dust off your Tyler, Tyler Henneke cards. Right, let's start on this side. There's Jamal Williams, Tyreek Hill, and the autograph is Braxton Berrios, rookie auto. 003 out of 199 for the Pats. It'll be for Reed and the Patriots. Case Keenum. Reveals an Antonio Brown, and they reveal a Sony Michelle, another Patriot, three color patch and autograph. 14 out of 199. Here you go, Reed. Oh, basically a personal box for you. Behind Larry Fitzgerald and Case Keenum to 99 is Andy Dalton. Game day swatches, 47 out of 50 for Cincinnati, Jonathan. Well, so where are we going here? Let's go to 2018 certified sitting up here. Good luck. We're almost near the end, folks. We're going to close out with that uh, that select box in the back there. A team all or choice or something like that. I'm going to select this team all.
comes Kareem Hunt to 225. And we got an Anthony Miller relic for the Bears. New generation relic to 399 for Chicago. And that will be for James Reyes. Justin Jackson to 499 for the Chargers. That'll be for Josh. And there's certified gamers. Josh Gordon, 9 out of 25. Browns edition going to Chris Hansen. Wait, don't the Seahawks have Josh Gordon? Is he playing? What's what's his do? What's, what's going on right now? Josh Gordon. Vita Vea to 999. Dermonte Dawson to 99. Charlie Joyner to 999. And we've got Marcus Mariota for the Titans to 499. Ooh, deep pass by. Wow. No pass interference there. And we've got rookie roll call, 39 out of 75, Mason Rudolph, the Red Nose Reindeer. That's going to go to Kevin and the Steelers. Marcus Davenport for the Saints, a 225. Isaiah Oliver, 999, and we got freshman fabric Mike Gasicki, 26 out of 50. Nice patch, nice autograph for Miami. It's going to go to Mitchell Emerson and the Dolphins. And there's Marcus Allen going to the Raiders. All right, we're inching closer and closer to the end, folks. Let's get this 2019 Prism Blaster box going. Did the Rams have a lead going into the at the end of the first half? Does anyone remember offhand? I'm pretty sure they did, right? This is Mohamed Sanu. Yes, says Oliver, sorry. There's a crazy stat, it was 20 to 10. There's a crazy stat that I think still holds. Um, Sean, since Sean McVay's been a coach, if the Rams, go into the half with a lead, he's never lost. Yeah, there you go. Oliver Sori is saying the same thing. McVay, 36-0 when he leads at the half. Isn't that crazy? That stat popped into my head. I was just like... This is uh, second year Mahomes right here. Chiefs, that'll be for Richard Burbank. It's Josh Jacobs relic, rookie gear for my Raiders. That goes to Steven, Steven S. I couldn't believe when I first, I think I learned about that stat in the middle of the season or something. I, I couldn't believe it. There's Jim Kelly right here. Nice. Buffalo goes to Travis.
rookie Calvin Harmon. This is 2017. There's Mahomes opportunities in here. Right, let's actually do this 2019 select team all edition first. An exclusive just for team all, which is a big e-commerce site in China. Checklist is pretty much the same, but you're looking for these exclusives. All right, here's our first Dragon Scale, Meikle Hardman Jr., rookie, going to the Chiefs. That'll be for Richard. 55 out of 88. There is Carson Wentz, Philadelphia Eagles. Has he played his last game in Philadelphia many weeks ago? Richard Burbank with the Fly Eagles Fly. 34 out of 88. There's Dan the Man Marino for Miami. That's going to go to Mitchell Emerson. Sixty-five out of eighty-eight. We've got rookie autograph Sweat. Remember those old spice commercials he did? Montez Sweat. Townsend with the Washington football team. Will will Montez Sweat and his teammate Chase Young? Cause some problems for Brady. 133 out of 199. And Jarrett Stidham. Rookie Silver. What do the Patriots do with their quarterback, Sitch? All right. Let's, yeah, now let's do this. We'll close out with a little bit of Who Am I? America's Favorite Game, where I give you clues and then you guess who that mini helmet is going to be for bragging rights. Remember, don't forget, our, our. there's no checklist for this, so remember our college rules. If it's a college helmet or something like that, if, if it is a college helmet, it'll go to the team that they are currently on, if they're active, or the team they played for the longest, if they're inactive, by season, uh, by number of seasons, according to ProFootballReference.com. And then we'll, we'll go to the right of each stat column for uh, tiebreakers. I think it's games, game started. We'll do a quick recap at the end right here, too. All right. Mahomes and Watson. That's what we're... Mahomes, come on. Where are you? Charles Harris Silver. Miami. Mitchell. We've got Deshaun Kaiser. Oh, and a Chris Carson rookie silver right there. I think these are all silver, actually. All the rookies are silver that year. From what I remember. Chris with the Browns. Chris Carson. Let's see how he finishes off this game. Randall Cobb, Disco. There's Marlon Mack. And Raekwon McMillan, silver rookie for the Dolphins. No Mahomes in there. All right, and now America's favorite game. This is a TriStar mini helmet, platinum edition. Right, so if it's Clyde Edwards Elaire, obviously it'll go to the Chiefs. That's the possibilities right here. Good luck, put your thinking caps on. A little sticker on the tab right here.
put like a little game show card in here. There it is. All right, who am I? Not enough information on this game show card. I'm a two-time first team all pro, 2017 second team all pro, and a four-time pro bowler. That's just not enough information on this card. I'm 31 years old, 6'5", 260 pounds. I'm a big dude. Third round pick, played for the same team my entire career since I was drafted in the third round, 63rd pick overall, a Super Bowl champion. I've got a career 612 receptions for 7,881 receiving yards and 48 receiving touchdowns. If I give you the NFL records that I hold, it would give it away too early. I was first team all Big East. Back in 2012, my brother is also a Super Bowl champ. Wow, Ian. There you go. All right, was that was that easy? Maybe it was too easy. Uh, I hold uh, the mo most 1,000-yard receiving seasons by a tight end. Five most receiving yards in a season by a tight end. 1,416. These are my records. And most 100 reception seasons by a tight end. Two. And this is kind of a cool helmet right here, too. I don't know what kind of design this is, but it's a sharp look. There's Kelsey's autograph, white out ink on there. An AMP alternate helmet. That's pretty sweet. You got all the, the Beckett certifications and stuff right there as well. Nice. Who's got the Kansas City Chiefs? Richard Burbank with the Kansas City Chiefs. There you go. Very nice. All right. Now, the moment you've been waiting for. Yeah, like Christian Donlin saying, well, I got absolutely nothing in the break, so you're hoping for the Favre. Exactly. You and the other hit list folks in here. Good luck. Big moment here. I'm done with all the boxes, right? Nice. That was a pretty nice break, too. So let's flip back to this list right here. So let's get everyone from Laura down to Townsend and everyone in between. Let's copy those names. Put them into this blank list right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize that list five and a four nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, well, first off, thanks everyone for getting into this break one way or the other. We appreciate it. Now, the second name will get those 400 points. A little consolation prize. And that'll be for Greg. And the winner of the Brett Favre Flawless Book, NFL Shield, and Autograph, and a one of one with the train whistle is going to be Nick Caruso, Last Spot Mojo. Wasn't he trying to trade away Denver? If someone traded for that Denver spot, that person would have won the Brett Favre. I'm pretty sure he was trying to trade him. There it is right there. The Brett Favre one of one flawless book. It's got a nice autograph. The NFL shield is pretty sweet. And pretty nice stuff. And, of course, out of fives and under, Nick, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. What a finish, ladies and gentlemen. What a break. That was Jaspie's 13-box Gunslinger football mixer on Saturday the 9th, 2021. Happy New Year. Thanks for joining us on all of our breaks. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break on jaspiescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.